Popular says, will AV1 remain as a streaming codec, or do you think it will be implemented in video making for recording? I, uh, I think we will see it for archives and things like that uh, at some point. In fact, DaVinci Resolve in a recent update has added decode support for AV1. Uh, if you have NVIDIA, Intel, or whatever uh, decoding on the graphics cards, I don't foresee it being uh, used for like regular stuff just because it's harder to decode in general. Uh, but I think for archives or for low bitrate needs, it could be useful. Like HEVC right now, like it's used for recording for certain scenarios, like HDR, or where you need to just like squeeze the most quality out of a small space. But in terms of blanket just recording, it's fine. Like it, you don't need HGVC. So, eh, I think we, I think it would be a long time before we see it in everything, just because it's harder to do. Like H.264 is used for literally everything, from Blu-rays to web media files to files you download, because it's supported on everything. Because we have like two decades of hardware that has decoding built in for it. AV1 is going to get more traction in terms of iGPU and GPU decode support. But it's not necessarily going to get that wide of a level of decode support in terms of saturation for another decade or so. Uh, H.265 has more money behind it, but it also costs money to use. So you're not going to see H.265 used for... Any like, H.265 was considered dead on the water. It's currently used for certain scenarios for HDR and things like that because it's the only option. But... Uh, you wouldn't, like, you don't use it for anything else because the licensing and things like that ends up making it dead, like I said, dead dead on arrival. So, I, I, I think eventually we might see AV1 replace or supplant H.264 for, like, a general purpose codec, but I think that's gonna be, like, we're gonna be at a point where we're like, where's the next codec or whatever? It's not gonna be by 2025 or something like that. I could be wrong, but the way that that usually rolls out, I just don't see it being the case. I think it's going to be mostly optimized for streaming, you know, low bitrate Netflixes and Hulus and YouTube and Twitch and all of that more so than... I mean, you could use it to record. Once everything kind of normalizes and we have encoders and decode support, like you could use it to record just like I can use the StreamFX plugin to record H.265 right now, and I do, but there won't necessarily be a big reason to, and it could cause you potentially more trouble by doing it that way. Hope that makes sense. Uh, I wanted to respond to something in chat. Uh, Felipe is saying no one wanted to pay for H.264 either. H.264 did not have anywhere near the licensing costs and requirements that H.265 has. If you haven't looked it up, look into the H.265 patent wars because it got patented and licensed to all hell to the extent that it is basically inviably expensive. Like, no one can afford to or wants to justify throwing in H.265 support because it, they have to pay for every single user and blah, 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 in a way that wasn't the case with H.264, which is why it's been dead on arrival from the from the first place, because no one wants to deal with it. Like, there, there was some licensing for it, but not the same as H.265, and there were still open options for H.264, uh, whereas there aren't the same for H.265. So it's just a whole mess. And yes, Felipe, the licensing for MPEG-2 is also nothing compared to, uh, nothing compared to H.265 either. Also, yes, the, 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 the barrier, the, the threshold of time to switch to H.265 would have been like five years ago. No one switched to it. it it's not even time will tell. Time has told. Everyone avoided H.265. Everyone's waiting on AV1 now.